your girl Kia KC and I am back with another video and it is my one month post op. I am a little over a month but um yeah just kind of wanted to come let you guys know what's been going on update you guys so I will be um inserting some clips well photos I guess I should say of my process so as of right now today and today is Oh Jesus. You know, the 20th. Today is October the 20th. So just coming back to you guys. Um following up. So my first video um was a breast reduction vlog. So kind of like got myself ready that morning. Just let you guys follow me around for the day and the next few days after that. So as of right now, my left nipple still is not stitched together <laughs> i know but i kind of feel like it's my fault but then again it could just be like my skin rejecting the sutures as well but like i i have movement like of course you guys know i have a kiddo and like we're attached to the hip so it's hard to tell her no and it's hard not to pick her up so that's just kind of what that leads to sorry i keep playing with my hair y'all it's not heavy um but yeah so still having pretty much kind of like the same routine um as i have before um so now instead of nitro vid i don't know if i told that to you guys but my routine every day for my left side it has just been different every after every week's appointment so like one week like the whole around the areola like my skin it has separated so bad to the point like where she had to stitch me together and then um twice a day my mom was having to use like they're not gauze like i don't know the correct medical terminology for it but it basically looked like a strip of gauze and she would have to dip it in saline i believe that's what that was and then like literally like pack <laughs> like put that in deep in my skin so that would stop the bleeding and also that that would help with the infection um i'm not even sure if i told you guys that but i ended up with infection and that's part of the reason why like this process with my left side has been like such a delay so after my mm, first week's pre-op appointment i want to say um, I was dying to take a shower like I just can't be dirty like I need to shower and that was starting to bother me like really really bad so at that point like um was it my first week maybe my second week one of those because whatever it was like I was pretty much healed for the most part on the um right side so she just was pretty much saying me like don't saturate yourself um in water on the left side which i didn't like i'm not gonna lie yes i did get it wet but i didn't just sit there and let the water just hit on me so but even with it getting wet um come to find out like there's something wrong with the city water of where i live like the city that i live in like there was something going on with the water because um one lady in the community group page on facebook she was saying that it was green stuff coming out of her water and then um some parents were starting to complain that the kids were getting staph infection and i think that was from the water just all of that a mixture of that so me with the open wound then using that water immediate infection like everything was like deteriorating like it was so bad but we've come to um the understanding that my left areola will be tattooed on i'm totally fine with that not a big deal um i will have to wait a year um first post-op date in order for that which probably a little longer like really whatever the last day i'm fully healed on this side i feel like that's when that year is accounted for like starting that date on for is a year not like after surgery date um 
but my left side i'm sorry my right side has healed beautifully um it's of course still so you know t junction let me close this so y'all can see um t junction so with t junction you're cut from nipple down and then here so t um so and then i'm also cut like further to this back side of me because she took out some fat there so that it would like balance me out so i look even or whatever and then um yes she's completely happy with the right side i am as well i'm just ready to be able to work out so i can tone myself because like i look crazy in certain areas to me but that's just my personal opinion or whatever um so as of right now I am still doing sponge baths, but I do take a bath as well. Um, I just don't take a bra off. So, I mean, I scrub this side good, put the bra back down. I mean, I have no other choice. Like, I cannot take chances of this being infected again. Like, even now, my last appointment was last Thursday. Um, was it last Thursday? I think it was last Thursday. My day is just, like, all mixed up. But... My last appointment last Thursday, from that, from then to now, my stitches have bust, like, <laughs> excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if it's me or it's just, it's me. I'm gonna blame me. I'm just gonna blame me. It's me, y'all. So, them stitches sit your ass down somewhere. Like, they're not playing about that because you're gonna be going through what I'm going through. Um... So let's get into like details. I don't know if I said everything in the first video, um, but I feel like I probably did. But if you didn't watch the first video, so bilateral breast reduction, um, all together, she took three pounds, y'all. Three pounds. That's a lot for somebody to be carrying on their chest. Like it don't sound like a lot, but like on an everyday, day to day basis, that's a lot. And then the back pain that come with it, oh my God, like. It is a lot. So yeah, three pounds all together. I am still currently wearing um, my surgical bras as well as sports bras, but they zip here. Like it's a sports bra, but like it's considered like surgical bras um, on Amazon if you want to get them from Amazon. I would definitely size up. So like with the sports bras, for example, I believe like my surgical bras, those were a size large. However, with sports bar, sports bras, they squeeze you in more. It's kind of a good thing and a bad thing because like when it comes to the area of down here and here, like the sports bra squeezes me. So like it will leave indentions and stuff. So I did the three first bra through the three sets of first bras i got did i say that right Bruh. the first set of bras that i got i got them in a large because in my head i was like hmm okay like body wise like i know like i'm not a medium yet so i had to be mindful of like i guess this is the, is this what this whatever this actually is i don't even want to feel like getting into it um, I want to say bust, but I don't think that's right. But if it is, bust. So, like, that area, like, I knew, like, I'm not 100% proportion how I feel I should be proportioned. So, yes, boobs-wise, I can wear a medium. But the rest of my upper body, the upper body. <laughs> Your upper body. Um, I need to do... Well, surgical bra, surgical bra wise, I'm a large, and then the sports bra slash sports surgical bras, I did an extra large. Cause the first set of larges I got, no, 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 no. So I had to go up. And the ones I have now, like I got from Walmart, and it has like a little clasp in a little, you know those like cloth material ones in a little plastic thing, and you put it down in there. I'll just insert it, cause I don't want to sound crazy. But yeah, so um, it has that in the front. So it's like extra support, like squeezing me here. Like that's the bra I have on now. Like I'm gonna flash, but see, and this is the bra I have on now. And like it has a clasp behind the zipper. So, and I feel like it's giving some extra support um, with the breasts, like kind of pushing them together up. 
Um, yes, I'm still massaging my boobs. There is um, this cream that she has me using. I feel like every doctor's office, the price of it varies, but I've had it twice now because I have had a BBL and now I have my um, breast reduction. So two doctors both suggest the cream. Now the first one, I'm not even going to get into details about my BBL, like. But the cream with them, y'all, I feel played. Like, it's literally a small bottle. Like, I literally just threw it in the trash just because it's old. And for when I got pissed off, just looking at it, like, ugh, rip off. So, that first one I got, they charged, like, 90-something dollars. And I'm just like... And for me, I feel like it didn't do anything because, like, where they do, like, the... The suctioning, to the fat out. Like, I still have those scars to this day don't think they're going anywhere so then i have to get the cream again now like dr styles like when i tell y'all like she is phenomenal like she is. so whatever she tells me i'm like yep okay i got you let's do it so she suggested the cream but i feel like she more thoroughly explained how to use it and that's why i'm seeing better results this time so in her office the bottle is um i think it was like 87 so not too much of a big difference, but you know something. And it's a big bottle, so I'm like, yeah, y'all some hoes, but whatever. So yeah, so it's 87 and it's a big bottle. Um, I apply that twice a day, two times a day. And then like, I'm supposed to be wearing these little strips. They help like compress um, where the stitches were for, for as far as like my, my T-junction. But I haven't done it, I need to do it. But I am doing good with the cream, y'all, so. Oh, it's just so much with it, but I am beyond happy with my results again If you guys are wanting details as far as like how everything was approved through insurance what was all the Hoops I had to jump through to get to the actual surgery Um, just let me let me know it wasn't a lot for me, but keep in mind y'all everybody's insurance is different but being somebody who has been in the medical field and definitely like the not hands-on, but you know, clerical work, um, I have more understanding of that. Like the medical terminology of it, like understanding like ICD-10 codes, diagnosis codes, like why all that plays a factor in um, like the surgery being approved, I feel like. So just let me know, comment like comment and subscribe y'all um if y'all want like beginning to end details on that i'm definitely going to insert some photos um some of them will be like i'm trying not to be too explicit because i don't want to get in trouble but i like i really want y'all to see like what's going on like dang bro like <laughs> it, it looked bad like i'm not gonna lie but i've accepted that i still have a nipple and um it's ways around this like i won't have like a ugly boob like it's gonna be tattooed on at some point i am just ready to just be free though like it's so much stuff i'd be like so ready to throw on i'm like <sighs> the ugly surgical bra the damn sports bra like i just need to be braless <laughs> like and i just i'm nowhere near that and it's just so frustrating y'all super duper frustrating but again like comment subscribe comment down below it's been a few ladies who have been commenting on my first video letting me know their surgery dates they're just anxious and excited y'all it's the best feeling in the world let me tell y'all that like i feel so much lighter i'm just ready to actually work out and just you know have my body in proportion because like it's like you now realize how much of a layer of fat your boobs could be hiding under until you don't have them because you're so used to like not seeing that layer of fat. And so then when the boobs is gone, you'll be like, Ooh, okay, okay, I need the gym, I need the gym now. So, but yeah, that's my biggest things. But to those ladies, um, uh, my uh, best of luck to you guys, prayers to you guys. I hope everything goes smoothly, a speedy recovery. Whatever you do, follow your doctor's instructions. I cannot stress that enough. It plays a big factor in it. Um, everyone's different. If they have you wrapped, stay wrapped, stay in the surgical bra, y'all. This stuff is like it's real. As long as you follow the rules and instructions that you're given. 
I feel like nothing can really go wrong. But at the end of the day, I'm not God. I can't tell y'all what's what. But just from my experience, doing things differently and following, like, you know, my instructions that I were given. But I think that is all for this video. So, yeah, again, if you guys want details from beginning to end, surgery approved day, everything I had to buy, how much things were out of pocket, how much are bills now after stuff has been sent through insurance, let me know. I will definitely give you guys details on all of that. And yes, yeah, so I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.